Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we've got all the indices in the green. You've got the Dow up 229, S&P 29, the S uh, NASDAQ 100 up 146. That's 1.5% to the upside. That is the leader to the upside out here percentage-wise. But let's go take a look at what the markets are really communicating to you and I at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. If we take a look at the move inside the S&P 500 right now, just testing Stevie's green line. That is the oscillator and change on. You will see wave number seven that's letter g on my screen so you can see that top is still in place out here these are just counter trend rallies up in the resistance stevie's green line out there if we take a look at the uh, dow well let's, let's go from the s yeah let's go from the s p to the dow We'll see that the Dow is weaker than the S&P, just simply based upon its ability to get up to that oscillator and change line, that Stevie Green Line area. Look, folks, price must close above Stevie's Green Line in order for there really to be much more of a counter trend rally. If we take a look at the Dow, you'll see that it's got the TD9 count topping pattern that is out there. So just again, more chopping around, just uh, nothing that is broken out. The only thing that is broken out is the NDX 100. But if we take a look at its message for the markets out here we can see that it's triggered roads momentum indicator signal and it is in wave number seven that is letter g on my screen out there and so there's the potential for a top now here what we would need is some type of bearish reversal candle doesn't have to happen today could be tomorrow could be Thursday could be Friday, could be never out there. But once the trigger's in place, you really pay attention. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, see what it's doing out here. Again, just testing Stevie's green line. Actually hasn't made it all the way up there, but close enough for the work that you and I do. And that's at 1456, even Steven. You can see the Gartley cell pattern that is in play inside the Russell 2000. So, so far, three of the four have actual confirmed tops. The NASDAQ 100 has the potential because it's got both of those patterns that are out there. If we take a look at the Dow trend, transports out here. What do we know about it? It's got wave number seven. That's letter G. It's got a Gartley cell signal. It hasn't even made its way up to Stevie's green line at that 9348 level. Look, folks, to make it easy for you, here's all the key areas, the key levels, Stevie's green line levels, daily and weekly, could be red line too, um, out here. And so now you've got them for the equity futures, for the cash indices, for the index ETFs, uh, including the equal weighted and the sectors inside the S&P 5. 500. Prices must close above that. Otherwise, the only party is the party going on in the NDX 100. Folks, stay tuned for um, uh, my show, The Trader's Edge, and then uh, two more great hours after that. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.